Hi, in this tutorial I will show you how to use my program called JFlow. So what it is, it's a smoke simulator made on GPU, like smoke sim simulator working on the GPU. And so what do you need to get it started? So first of all, you have to download JFlow from the link below in the description. Next, you will have to install CUDA 11.1 .1 and Visual Studio 2019 or you have to install the according Visual Studio Redistribute Pack also 2019, I think. And I think, I hope it's all because I don't have a second computer to actually test it. So if it doesn't work, just tell me and I will try to figure it out. So what we, when you have downloaded it, you will have this folder. So it will be less messy, uh, but it's my work, work in progress folder. So yeah, you need to launch GPU fluid. And voila, we've got some smoke. <clears throat> and our GPU will burn. So, what you can do with the simulator? Because actually now you can just play with settings, but I will try to explain everything slowly. Or actually quickly, because it's like late. So, here we've got FPS count. It's like 20 for now, so I think it's not bad. You can like make the resolution extra large and now we will have 8 fps so it's kind of slow i don't know it's slow it could be faster i mean i'm working theoret theoretically actually for, for now on multi gpu support but it's quite difficult and my gpus are varying so i cannot really test it on like the same GPUs so yeah there are some problems I definitely would need some help to get second GPU but that's maybe time for some patronate or for future I don't know if you would like to support me or not so yeah uh, <clears throat> so yeah we can simulate in like some lower resolution and what we can do so here are just some simulation settings and actually everything is not interesting except like smoke dissolve flame dissolve but uh, simulation accuracy is quite important because if you uh, make it higher the smoke will have like more detail more large scale detail actually so yeah as you can see it now looks more like real smoke but now I like keep it between like around 32 it would be nice uh, simulation speed is nothing special but we've got wavelet uprising and now it works entirely on GPU so as you can see, 13 FPS, 14 FPS, 13 FPS. So it's amazing. I mean, it was <laughs> uh, previously it was working on CPU, so it was slow as fuck. And now it's quick. And it looks nice. I mean, this is, I could like tweak the settings, but overall, I think it looks nice. Like it gives the smoke those small scale details. And yeah. So now it looks nice. But we need to like improve the render samples because the smoke is too dense for my renderer. So yeah, I think it looks quite, quite nice. 
so yeah what also interesting like the renderer is entirely written by me like from scratch and uh, I have no idea about renderers so it's it's kind of slow and it does not look very good so I'm sorry I will work on it in the future but not now now I'm focusing on the simulation part so like what's interesting now like the simulation time is like 20 milliseconds and rendering time is like 110 so you could like just do this and now we've got 20 fps 10 fps 11 fps and with like 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 you can see it's 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 shit but i will work on it in the future definitely uh, so yeah like what's also what's also uh important so we've got here some emitters and here we've got we've got some explosion emitters so why it's called explosion? I don't know. I just call it that way. It's not actually explosion. It's just emitter with starting frame and ending frame. So that's all. It's nothing special. In the future, it will have like the initial velocity or something like that. Like here, we've got initial temp velocity frequency. Yeah, it's. I mean, it has some kind of randomness. So the smoke will look a little bit more detailed, but no initial velocity. Actually, I will try to implement it in the free time, but for now I just don't have free time. So that's a problem. But yeah, uh, what we've got, uh, yeah, we can like delete all and reset the simulation. And we can add like the simple emitter to the middle like to come on to the middle yeah it's there we can like change the size of it we can change the temperature or we can just just have it here like that and just do the magic step and we've got like explosion, so I saw that. And we've got some forces, so we can add forces. And make the size bigger, and now we've got some weird stuff. And it's like doing just what it like intense to, to, to do i mean it's definitely not scientific i mean i have no fucking idea what i'm doing <laughs> i slept on physics in school and i didn't read any articles about it to have the mind clear or something like that so yeah probably in the future i will just I will just read some articles and try to implement some better stuff. But yeah, for now it's... What the fuck is happening here? Oh yeah, it's the power modifier. So the power modifier just takes the velocity and make it like... just like multiplies the velocity of the smoke so it makes these things i don't know if that's useful but i implemented it it was nah, it, it works uh what we've got next uh, turbulence that one is actually quite nice also i have no idea how it's done in other software I know in my software it's retarded as hell. And but yeah, it works. Come on, why why it's not working? Oh yeah, the turbulence needs 
fucking hell needs this force to be multiplied because because it's retarded yeah like that's all it's just weird but it works kind of maybe you'll able to like create something better with it and we've got wind and sphere what the fuck is sphere oh yeah sphere is the initial implementation of collision let's try it i have actually never used it uh, okay maybe here Maybe let's try to reset the simulation and come on will it collide yes it's colliding it's working it's fucking alive so yeah it's also kind of work in progress it was just an initial implementation to just have some force builds I mean I think it's quite important mm. what we can have also like the scenes would probably not work so just the object scene is actually the initial one and yeah it's just some um, explosions emitters doing its magic so yeah let's make it let's make it great again with 6 fps come on let's be faster uh, yeah the red rank is slow as hell uh, so yeah i think it looks quite nice so what's now we can open scenes save scenes or i don't know what it does but i am afraid to click it uh, so yeah what I wanted to do oh yeah cash we can export it tutorial and export VDB and for the exporting time because like exporting open VDB works on CPU and it's supposed to be mo single threaded so as you can expect it would be, it was slow as fuck but i created some initial multi-threaded implementation it's rough it's quite fast but it's rough but i mean exporting is slow because of open vdb and i cannot export nano vdb because blender doesn't support nano vdb uh so yeah so <coughs> now I'm exporting it uh, with and the rendering is not happening because it would be like just slower but now we've got like t almost 2 FPS of exporting it's nice oh and it exports multi threaded and with oh come on my mind is not working now uh we've opened vdb and it's sparse and it's compressed and it's nice etc etc so yeah uh it looks nice in blender so yeah let's stop the exporting and uh, let's load some heavy scenes and i think it was a2 was it yes it was so it's the explosion and this explosion is with 415 by 415 by 490 domain resolution and with maxed simulation accuracy and with wavelet appraising and it's 2.5 fps i think that's horrible no actually it's quite quite nice but 
compared to MantaFlow, for example. But uh, yeah, MantaFlow definitely gives like better results for now. Uh, but uh, but yeah. Uh, oh, and the render samples are also like quite high. So if we reduce it, it's three FPS. Here we go. Uh, so yeah. So it's quite nice. And. Uh, And yes, and uh, that's I think all. So I don't know in terms of any questions or if the program doesn't work or there are some bugs, etc., etc., etc. Just just write me in the comment section or on GitHub or I don't know where. It would be really nice, and it would help the software to be polished much more and yeah and if you want to support me like financially uh, then then write me and I will I will like be very happy and just and just create some kind of way to do this so uh, yeah thank you very much and hope hope you will have you will be like health in these times of pandemic and yeah have a nice day goodbye